Today was the day the bodies really started coming in. This US Navy helicopter is carrying four of the dead from AirAsia Flight 8501. This afternoon it landed three times at the airbase here in Bangkalangbun, bringing 12 bodies in all. The crew of the US warship, the USS Samson, had found them floating about 30 miles away from where other bodies were found on Thursday. Why they had drifted so far apart is still unclear. Out in the Java Sea, the weather is still the biggest problem for the search teams. It is now the middle of the rainy season in Indonesia and thunderstorms come almost every day. A small armada of ships is now on station, including ones with sophisticated sonar and a special underwater microphone that can listen for the plane's black boxes. They are using two technologies, says this official, side-scanning sonar and a multi-beam echo sounder. These allow us to create a picture of the undersea environment, to see wreckage and even bodies in the water. Tonight in Bangkalangbung, the bodies recovered today were placed in coffins and carried aboard a special plane for their final flight back to their families in Surabaya. When they spotted the first wreckage out in the Java Sea on Tuesday, there was optimism here that the rest of the plane would be found within days. But not anymore. While they are continuing to recover more and more bodies from the surface of the sea and some small bits of wreckage too, the truth is they still have no idea where the main parts of the plane's wreckage are lying, whether they're in one place or whether they're scattered over a wide area. And crucially, they have still received no signal at all from the plane's black boxes. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Bangkalangbun, Indonesia.